tutorial of the Go Church app builder. If this is your first time in here, welcome. Uh, the main places that I just want to show you today are the design and build. Uh, if this is your first time, you would go to design, which of course will do the design for you if you do subscribe. Um, so a lot of this work you don't have to worry about, but I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, you can change the navigation very quickly. Uh, you can change colors in the app. Uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much the design of your app. So this is where you want to do the branding to keep it consistent with your church's website, your colors, your logo. And the next most important part is the build. This is where you add in your features your, or your tabs. And all of the active features will be over here on the left. And if I toggle this button right here, the feature will become inactive and then it goes into the inactive features. Now if you want to add a feature, if there if you see here that there isn't a feature that you're looking for, then all you have to do is click inactive features and go through here and you'll find what you're looking for. Some of the most popular features are the push notifications or the messages here. And under the notifications, you can create different subscription groups. <clears throat> These subscription groups uh, can be for different areas of ministry within your church, uh, so that way when users download the app, they can decide which ones they want to subscribe to, and this being a demo, it only shows zero subscribers, but uh, if you actually had subscribers, if this app was in the App Store, it would show you the number of people who have elected to say, yes, I want to get notified uh, when you send a push notification to me. Going through a few other features that are very popular, the website feature, this is a very simple way to integrate your own giving system into the app. So you, uh, you probably already have an online giving system, so all you have to do is just uh, put in a link to that and it'll show it right within the app. Another very popular feature is the Sermon Podcast, and this can be a video podcast or a audio podcast and all you have to do is get your RSS URL if you don't know what that is we can help you figure out that in the uh, build stage as well if you sign up and a lot of the other features in here are, are pretty self-explanatory but we just kinda wanted to give you a quick uh, overview of what you can do if you want to change uh, any of these icons here it's very simple to do so here's the the sermon podcast that we're at right now and if you wanted to change that you can say edit and you can look through different icons and they're all organized in a, in a nice little library or you can upload your own icon. Uh, the thing we encourage you to do is just feel free to click around. You're not going to break anything and especially since this is a demo it's not live uh, even if you mess something up and you don't like the way it looks that's fine. Uh, feel free to email us and ask us any questions. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you was in the manage section uh, the most popular thing, the most common thing that you would use once your apps are in the App Store is the push notification section. And I just want to show you real quick how easy it is to send and schedule push notifications. Uh, once your apps are live in the App Store, this is where you can go and you can also download a mobile app that will allow you to send and schedule push notifications from anywhere. So right here you would create your push notification. And it'll show you a little preview. If you go over a certain amount of characters, then it won't show you. But if you open up that notification, uh, you can see the rest of the message in the app. Uh, you're always going to want to send to iOS and Android, probably. Uh, and then right here, subscriptions, is where you can choose who's this going to. Is this for the youth? Is this for the adults? Uh, is this for the entire church? Um, and then that's where you choose. Uh, next is location. You have the ability to actually send notifications just to users in a certain area. Next is content. Uh, you can send people right to uh, a link or an event right in your app, which is awesome. And lastly, you can even schedule all these. So what uh, I like to do is I like to schedule my uh, push notifications for an entire month, uh, just one day. It takes like a 15 to 20 minutes and I just send out schedule all of these reminders for the events in the church 
And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, feel free to contact us at info at gochurchapp.com. And uh, thanks a lot.